I just have a question. I believe it's Melanie, the one in the beige. I think she's the one that looks like she's nine months pregnant and ready to give birth any day. I, I've had three kids. I'm 36 and have three kids. Three kids. What is happening? Your face ain't pregnant. Your face ain't pregnant. Oh, no, but she forgave it to her. Look like it, you big bitch. This is for the oh, oil oven mitt right there. Yeah. Next, ne ne mad, next time you wear a skirt like that, you just bring your ass with it, all right? Yeah, my question's for Tommy Boy back there. You say you like bungee jumping. How much resistance can that poor cord take? Uh, my question is for Pumpkin and her girlfriend. If you, if you ever want a tongue contest, give me a call, come back to Chicago. Uh, you win. question is for Rainbow Bright and the Orange, what made you become in the first place? Okay. My question is for the whore in front. Can I sell you? Andre, why don't you, if you want to be a woman, why don't you cross your legs? Because your thing's gonna whoop out of there. You can't cross your legs. At least I can cross mine. You big thigh heifer. Look comment like you belong for, in an eat all commercial. I have a comment for the girl in the black on the end here. We just wanted to say, stay strong, because you can do a lot better than that hairy booty JJ Walker thing over there. This is for the f the thong man. He should get together with the elf behind him. And can I give <laughs> Let that fat ass go. I can feel the shake it all the way up on the stage. Man. Hey, 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 hey. All right, hold on. I have a comment for Shim sitting right there. Shim. Yeah, Shim. He, Shim. he, Shim. Sims, don't get mad if you said that beauty's on the inside, somebody need to flip your ugly ass inside. Somebody need to flip your ugly ass! Yeah. Homie yeah. right there in the blue shirt, you need to buy him a tub of lotion because his knees are real ashy. Right there. You want to wear a bra, that's your problem, but put something in them. I don't need nothing in them. I don't need nothing in them. This is for the long-haired uh, trailer trash guy in the back. If your manhood was as long as your hair, maybe you could get a woman. Huh? Huh? You just want a piece of this. You know you can't have it. Questions for Macy Gray in the red Mama, and Harley Davidson. Uh, Stand in my face. What? Sorry. Stand in my face. Why do you have to mess up that lady's life? She looks like such a nice lady. And but she's still running your mouth from back then. What? You talk to me when you run your mouth from my face. You say something, you run your mouth from my face. 
to the guy right there. Hey, Buck we you making it hard for us brothers out here. You show. standing up there with I that can't. little I up there. To the young lady right there in the black dress. Here you I got a guy right here saying you can go home Shut with him, baby. You don't gotta worry about nothing. Okay, um, I have a question for Webster over here. Are you even old enough to get married? Because you look like you're like 12. Yeah. So. Oh. Y'all can take that back to another town where y'all from. Oh, anyway, going back, going back, going back where y'all from. Take Webster, that back. don't worry about it, buddy. When uh, your baby teeth but fall you out, I, that, but gap, you that gap no, no. between you your teeth are closed. No, no. Look at you, you big red neck. Look at you. Look at you, you big red neck. You lying neck. Okay, yes. Stand up, stand up. Can I touch Steve's head? You what? Can I touch Steve's head? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Webster, what are you going to do when Snoop Doggy kicks your doggy butt when you get back home? He ain't going to do nothing. He ain't going to do nothing. What you going to do? Your big shiny ass. Your big shiny ass. I want to ask. Yeah, you talking about this. Big shiny ass. I want to ask old Cutie Pie over there in the corner, man, what kind of job he's got. If he plans on going down the street, he's going to starve to death, man. You ugly, man. Whatever. Okay, yes. I have a question for the blind, um, the guy in the black shirt with the blind hair. Um, you're supposed to wear the belt. You're supposed to be the man in the family. You want, uh, what the hell happened to you? What happened to me? Yeah. What's me? What happened to me? You're just all wimped out and you're like a sissy and you have nothing to say. And I was about to Steve, can I rub your head? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. Hold on. Uh, My question's you, for Mr. Clean. Just jealous because uh, you ain't getting none. Of it. I was Clean. wondering why you would leave a girl like her for gangster bitch Barbie. I got a question for the fake ass Stone Cold in the back. Why would you leave the dime over here for the for the penny with a hole in it? It doesn't make a sense. Do what? Why would you leave the dime for the penny with a hole in it? You can take her back and man, you know what I'm saying. Sit on down, man. Sit down. You, oh, man, you couldn't even get so something like that anyway. No. Huh? I wouldn't want nothing like that. She a boss down. She's a boss down. What? She a Come slut. on down and say that. She's a two dollar whore. Man, you could have went got your change, baby. Sit down, man. You don't want no sit down, punk. Sit down. Come on down and make Good it. Last punk. This is an audience participation one right here. I just want to remind everyone on your way out of the studio tonight check your shoes in case somebody steps on Scott. Where's my cookies, man? <laughs> Get in the tree, make my cookies. <laughs> Did I start? <laughs> what you gonna do? I huh? take your cookies from you and then serve them to your man. old lady, Paul. Oh! You're not worth it, man. I cookies in you, so. Oh! What's up? Special. Don't wear blue jeans. 
more bruising, bro. Jessica, are you going to kick his butt back to Munchkinland or is he going to use the dollar in his pocket to take the bus? Two comments. Uh, the first one is the, to the country cow hands. You know, uh, lady, you got to do something better than that. Uh, if I were you, I'd just trade them both in on a Palomino. Okay? And the guy with the big glasses, hey, you got to keep, you got to kick the, the toothless to the curve. This is for cowboy. You need to find yourself a damn good looking sheep. <laughs> man. And for the brother up there, man, you need to get rid of your, your girl there. Get rid of that snaggletooth whore. Kick her to the curb, man. Lesbians, honey, real women have. You should just take your little belt buckle to the pawn shop, get you some new shoes, and find you a new bitch, and it's over with. It's over with. I ain't stopping nothing. This one is for the girl in the black. You said the reason you cheated on um, your boyfriend because he took you places, you should have had him take you to the dentist. This goes to Hector. You need to take off your little rose-colored glasses, take a good look at your beautiful wife, think about the child you've brought into this world, kick little sister out of the house, concentrate on your marriage, and get on with your life. You start worrying about my life and worry about yours, all right? You start worrying about yours, all right? Okay? You don't know what's going on. Worry about your life, all right? Well, shut up. All right, I got a comment for the dwarf and the two sisters. All right, you in the blue, I want you to come home with me. And you, go out and find yourself a good man that'll treat you right. Yeah. You know, Hold on. I'd break your little ass. The guy with the red glasses, you had made a comment that you slept with because she was just there. Do you have any pets? I hope not. Hey, Crystal, I wouldn't buy that ring. I'd take the money and give it to Tammy so she can go buy some teeth. Okay, to me right, right there, man, you got a nice woman on your side, man. Why are you going with the sister? You, you make, you make, uh, you wrecking a happy home. And some my big woman over there, you nice. You can, uh, you, you can do bad by yourself. You don't need the uh, MC Gusto on your side. That's all right. I'm still gonna have her. I'm still gonna have her. I'm still gonna have her because I love her. I'm still gonna have her. I'm gonna have her. She sleeps all day. All she does is. I have two.
two she jobs. Not you ain't got a job. For him. Yeah. She does not even cook this dinner for him. She does not even cook dinner for him. This is for the lady in the black in the back row. You said that you the stove while he in the back. How could he find anything back there? Oh, <laughs> The girl with the little in back, the black shirt, your aunt has a lot more class than you, and for you to come out here I don't care what and with those said. saggy ass <laughs> so, if you're selling, don't you worry about it. Don't and you worry about it. What's their bra? What's their bra? That's what you want to be on the team. That's what you want to be on the team. If your belly, don't let me forget your If your belly is bigger than your When you were cheating on your wife, at which point did you realize you were having sex with a female version of Wiz Khalifa? Um, in the purple over here, who told you you were perfect because you need to listen to the way you talk and check yourself in the mirror? <laughs> I got a uh, comment slash reality check for Caleb in the red shirt. What are you doing cheating on your wife, who's cute, good looking, cares about you, with a sparkly, hairless little animal over here? Yeah, I got a comment for bling bling up there. Um, it's not a girl you need, it's a vaporizer. I got a comment for fake Dana Dane, Slick Rick. You need to do voiceovers for the Muppets because your voice is ridiculous. This is for the whore in the zebra print. When you're gonna go blonde, make sure you get it all. Well, how about you uh, get um, cosmic surgery on your face because it is not a cue at all, honey. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hey, to the chicken pink with the uh, skunk stripe. What? Why don't you drop the 12-year-old and make some dents in a car with a real man? Yeah. <laughs> Vinny from Jersey Shore, there with the bling. If, you've seen the, if he's in the threesomes, this is the 21st anniversary show, Jerry. Why don't you turn around? Those two dudes behind you might be into it. <laughs> Mr. Clean, sit down, buddy. Stone Cold Steve Austin. This is for the girl wearing the cake because before she called me fat, I do want to point out she's wearing cake. <laughs> what, what Smurf are you, honey? Slutty or skanky Smurf? <laughs> this comment's for the rapper. Um, I suggest you get a day job because uh, you far from Eminem. <laughs> Um, my comment is, I don't know if you heard when they were wailing on each other, but you said that you only got with him because he called you pretty. You're looking like a whore up in Stanford City, so get your ass home. <laughs> Can I borrow your telescope? Because I can't see any of these girls' boobs from right here. <laughs> I wanted to ask Ziggy Morley over there how that slap tasted. Cause he got lit up like the 4th of July. Hey, what's your name? What's your name? the two girls on the end in the purple. Why are you both fighting over buckwheat when you could have the crybaby in the back? Hello. <laughs> I was wondering why the whore next to the guy in the purple, you two should go out because you don't deserve her. She loved you. She everything. She did everything for you. You're just, you're just not worthy. Go with the whore next to you. Business, man. Go with the whore next to you. Who are you calling the whore? Who's the whore? Who's the whore? I'm sorry, I'm not on national television with my ass in the air. How's it going?
going, Jerry? Uh, I got another one for the um, the bruised up uh, zoo animal. Were you, <laughs> <laughs> were you going for uh, crack whore or a tranny train wreck? Take your pick, baby. Take your pick. My question, Jerry, is directed to the girl in the back from the Steak and Shake. It seems like when they went to Walmart, she got hit with Ford and Pricey. She can't remember a thing. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Now please approach the bench. The way I look at it, you have two options here. Option A, watch more Judge Jerry. Option B, watch more Jerry Springer. The choice is yours. Now get out of my courtroom. You have more clips to watch. And don't forget to subscribe.